Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Jewish Week Online. I'm your host, Aaron Herman. Do you know there are hundreds of thousands of people that suffer from visual impairments around the globe? We have the opportunity to speak with Dr. Yonatan Wexler, Senior VP of R&D at OrCam. OrCam is an Israeli startup that is using wearable technology to help people see. Let's take a closer look. Originally from Newark, New Jersey, using the OrCam for the first time, I was shocked almost by the technology, and now it's become almost second nature. It's like, having a, it's like having a friend read to you. Moshe has been legally blind from childhood and has been using OrCam for a few months. Reading the newspaper has become a really relaxing experience now. I'm able to sit back, scan the newspaper quickly, read it in a comfortable easy chair rather than sitting at a table and holding a magnifying glass. And I found that it's opened up new possibilities for me, such as using smartphone, which I couldn't use before, Efficiently reading email rather than having to go back home at home and use a large computer screen. Looking at store windows, window shopping, which I'd never done in my life. Able to experience and feel what's going on in the environment, which I couldn't do before. I just had to pass by and let it go by without really sensing what I was seeing because I didn't see it. OrCam is a, a wearable technology that allows people with disabilities or people who um, are uh, suffering from a loss of sight uh, to be able to, to read and to identify things that typically they wouldn't be able to see. So talk a little bit about uh, your company and the technology. Okay. We, we saw that the computer vision reached to a stage that uh, it can really help people. And we thought, you know, if we can devise uh, technology that can recognize anything, who can we use it for? You know, who will benefit the most from it? And, uh, we thought about visually impaired. You know, let's create a device that helps visually impaired people uh, recover some of their lost abilities and, and gain more independence. And that's uh, that. That was the motivation for this device. So we wanted something that you can have with you and helps you whenever you need it. And um, and this is what we have. You want to see how it looks? Yeah. Great. Okay. So it's a it's a very small camera. You know that you put on your glasses. It has the camera part, and there's a small speaker here. And there's also a small uh, device that you put in your pocket. Uh, and this just goes in your pocket. And it, uh, it has uh, enough power, enough juice to run all day. And you put it like this on your glasses. And then, uh, whenever you want to read something, or whenever you want to recognize something, the device does it for you. And all you have to do is point with your finger. So this is. You know, when when I think about like what the future will hold, this is like this is cutting edge. Like there's you know, identifying text uh, has always been difficult uh, in terms of wearables. What's some of the technology behind you know being able to identify uh, text? Um, well, there's a um, uh, that's a big question. <laughs> uh, we had to develop our own algorithms to do it because it has to run very quickly and be very reliable, and it has to fit in something that you can actually carry with you, not a computer or something like that. We also wanted to make sure that the device is independent. So let's say you go to a supermarket and you, you're using the device, but there's no reception. So if you're relying on something that is online that requires internet connection, you're not going to have it. So it had to be something which is very, uh, you know, very reliable. Um, in, uh, so yeah, so we devised our own algorithms to do it. And you know, when I look at it, it, lo it looks lightweight. It doesn't seem like you know your glasses; they're not falling down right. to your nose. Like it's a very, it, it, it sort of integrates directly into your um, your glasses. Right. Um, well, how heavy is it actually? You can barely feel it. Uh, it's lighter than you know the lightest uh, glasses you can you can buy. It has almost no weight. Uh, it's a uh, uh, yeah, there's no weight. Um, and, uh, and it's important for us to do something which is small and discreet because our customers, they already have enough troubles as it is, right? You want something which is, you know, not obtrusive. They can have it on them all day. It doesn't bother them. And whenever they want it, it gives them the help that they need. So the I'm, I'm at the corner of a street, and it says walk. How far right. away can the device detect, um, you know, the the walk sign? Uh, we have, uh, you know, if you can see it, you know, like a, if a normally sighted person can see it, the device can see it as well. And uh, so, is it a 
you said you're using an algorithm. Is it a database made up of different words, and then it just compiles it all together? Is that like how does you know, obviously um, trying to figure out the algorithm is is very right. complex, but it's is it a database that's that's connected to it? Uh, so the device knows uh, so you know quite a few things so that it can recognize. For example, it can re recognize all the letters and it can string them cleverly into uh, words and sentences and paragraphs. It can also recognize other things like buses and street signs and uh, and um, traffic lights. So it's you know there's things that the device already knows and um, the way we uh, we teach the device is by using uh, a lot of a lot of examples. So we show the device a lot of examples of what we wanted to recognize, and our algorithms figure out how to, you know, how to use these examples in order to figure out what what is really important and how to find these uh, instances in the real world. And so and this is available uh, in the United States. Um, and uh, where, where are you hoping? Which markets are you looking uh, to get into? Uh, at the moment, we are focused on the U.S. We have the uh, first beta group started uh, about a year ago. We have another beta group now, the second uh, group of testers. And, uh, and for now, we'll stick with that. We started working on other languages, so we can, uh, we can sell elsewhere. But the main focus is still in the U.S. at this point. And um, so it, it, how much does it cost? Is it a couple thousand dollars, uh, I assume? Uh, $3,500. Yeah. And so... When, when the when the user gets it, how how quick is the training for or is it instant? Now we have some users that just put it on and they understand and that's it. You know, that's it for them. They they figure it out because the user interface is is very simple, right? You you point at what you want to see. Uh, and some users find it very you know they still they find it hard and because it is you know it's a camera based solution. You know, there's there is some understanding there. Um, so what we Settled for now is we have a few hour training session for each customer. So we sit with the customer, we show them exactly how to use the device, we, we practice it with them, and then we have also a hotline that they can call if they, you know, if they need support. Um, and and it, it, it varies between people. And again, you know, we had people who use it. Uh, we have uh, uh, two people who are doing the higher degrees now, and they use it to read material. Uh, so and, and for them, you know, these two particular users, they find it very easy. They use it all the time. Some others, you know, it's harder for them. It doesn't really work, and, and they need more more help. But we're there to help them. Give us a live demo. Sure, sure. So uh, I have the device on. What I'm going to do, I'll, I'll connect the uh, speaker so you can uh, also hear it. All right. Battery is 40% to charge. All right. Can you hear the device yeah. speaking? Yeah. So what I'm going to do... Uh, I'll, I have the email you sent me. Um, maybe you know maybe before. I have here a, a resume of someone. Okay. I can just pull it and read. Tell me if you hear it. So. Senior software engineer with 12 years of experience as a software so, professional so in numerous is, technologies and in. So this is a CV that someone uh, sent yeah. over. Yeah. So I just point to it and it reads. I can also uh, try and read from the screen. Uh, so I'll, I just opened the email you sent me. Uh, let me put it uh, on, and let's try. So what I do I, again? I point to the screen. And ah. Opal as well with there we you. Go. There we go. Amnon Shashwa gave me your contact info. I am a producer at Video Journ Street for the Jewish Week NY. I cover technology and Israeli startups. I wanted to see if I can do a video interview with you via Google Hangout about your company. Um, so when when you when you took a picture when you were reading the email, you, you took a picture of the email first, and then it read like how did it work? Uh, so I just point at the screen, yeah. and then the, yeah. the device figures out oh there's there's a text here. Let me read it, and, and it just goes and read it. Um, it takes about a second, a second and a half, then it reads it. Yeah. As you can see, OrCam is an incredible visual aid that will transform the way people with disabilities and the elderly see. This is Aaron Herman. I thank you for watching.